Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 159. That is, explain RAD model. Let me answer. RAD model is one of the SDLC models. There are different SDLC models like waterfall model, prototyping, iterative incremental, spiral, V, agile, RAD, and Big Bang. RAD is one of the SDLC models. But what exactly is this RAD model? RAD stands for rapid application development where application will be developed with rapid speed in rad sdlc model the speed at which the application will be developed will be at the rapid speed very fast okay how the how the development will happen so fast here the concept is followed guys to develop the software faster a concept is followed where simultaneously working on different modules of the project with more resources to deliver the product to customer in less time okay let me give an example for this so first, let me give a real world example. Assume that uh, at your area, okay, some construction is going on, okay, some gated uh, community or some township is getting developed, okay. So as part of this township or gated community, lot of buildings, okay, having lot of floors have to be developed. Let's say, let's say this is a gated community. In this four blocks need to be developed, and each and every block has uh, like eight to ten floors and some something like that, okay. So what if the development happens like this okay what if uh, after one block the next block will start after this block the next block will start after this block the final block will start if this is a process it will take a lot of time right so what we'll do here is simultaneously all the blocks will be developed okay we'll assign more people to this project so that uh, some set of people will be working on this block some set of uh, people will be working on this block simultaneously they are working on four blocks so work is happening on four blocks simultaneously so that it will speed up the process right it will speed up the development process and in less time the project will be done okay so here we are simultaneously working on different modules of the project as I explained in this real world okay example right another example i can give you guys okay there let's say there is a flyover to be constructed and uh, generally it takes a uh, minimum five years of time to build this flyover okay to construct this flyover it generally it takes five years so what say, uh, what say they have divided this flyover into multiple portions like this, and uh, each and every portion is given to a separate team. Okay, a separate team is working. A good number of people in this team are working on this portion of the flyover. Simultaneously, other team is working on this portion of the flyover. Simultaneously, other other team, other team, other team are working on other portions of the flyover. So instead of completing in five years, okay, just for completing this part, if it takes one year this also will take one year okay one year one year like that okay so within one year instead of five years instead of five years just in one year the the flyover will be developed okay so this is what is the power of the rad model okay here simultaneously working on different modules of the project here different sections of the flyover are like different uh, areas of the functionality of the application if they are developed separately by different software uh, software teams simultaneously at rapid speed the application will be developed right simultaneously working on different modules of the project with more resources here more resources need to be dumped so for complete project let's say uh, it requires uh, 30 resources but here every 30 30 are assigned to individual sections of the project okay instead of giving 30 members to the entire project we are giving 30 people to each and every section of the project so to speed up the work so with more resources to deliver the product to customer in less time the main ultimatum why we why people will go for the rad model for development is for uh, producing the software is when when and within less time okay if something has to be del delivered okay within less time if the software has to be created or developed in that case the software will be divided into different modules and each and every module will be assigned with good number of resources and simultaneously these resources will, will be working on each and every portion of the module and finally they will attach all these modules together so that it will become a final software and the development will happen in very less time okay application will be developed at a rapid speed within less time so here is a diagram for a rad sdlc model you see team one is working on one section of the software team two is working on another section simultaneously and team three is working on another section of the software simultaneously so instead of uh, uh, one team working on all the modules of the software okay we are bringing more resources here each and every team is working on separate section of the module and uh, separate modules and at the end they will combine all these modules together okay so this is what is the rad model guys
So hope guys, you understood what exactly is Rod model and how the development uh, in Rad model happens at a rapid speed. That's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.